Hi, this is Bonnie Gray, and I'm so excited to be with you today because I invited a special guest, Mary Ann. Hello. Mary Ann mm -hmm. is going to do something very special with us. We have a special treat, paint night. That's right. We are going to do paint night. I want you to invite one, maybe three, or even five friends to your home the week of March 30th. And at the day and time of your choosing, you're going to be able to watch a video that Marianne and I are going to publish on faithbarista.com. We're going to post it on March 30th, and you can watch it with your friends to do a paint night. Marianne's going to teach us how to paint, and she's going to show us what we're going to paint. But today's video, Marianne's going to tell us what are the supplies that we need to get in order to get ready. So Marianne is the perfect person to teach this, um, teach us our paint night because tell us what you do during the day. Well, uh, Bonnie, I'm a children's art teacher and I teach first through fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Tell us, how do you nurture children's creativity? Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, art's a very fun subject to teach. Uh, I do a lot of exploratory art and I introduce kids to drawing, painting, and sculpture and uh, using different materials such as oil pastel and watercolor and clay. And so it, I really am helping them develop the right side of their brain. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like exploring is a key element. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going mm -hmm. to experience what it's like to explore. Now, do we need an experience with art or painting? Uh, no, do? not at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this might be the first time that you're picking up a paintbrush, and that's totally fine. We are reading Finding Spiritual White Space right now, and a very key element of um, this book and the stories that I'm sharing is about giving ourselves permission to really enjoy time with God and others and to nurture our soul and bring out the little girl in us. So it's perfect that Marianne is a fine arts teacher. She has a degree from Berkeley and so we're, we have a real good treat on our hands. We're in good hands. Now tell us now, what do we need to get in terms of supplies? Well, I'm going to start with the uh, paint set, Bonnie. This is uh, a 36 color paint set here, dry watercolors, and it comes with a brush uh, made by Artist Loft, and this only costs $4.99 from Michaels. Um, we also have brushes here. These are um, fine tip, these are uh, round brushes, and so you can get a set like this for about $4.99 also, and you can also get um, flat brushes too. So these are great for doing washes here, doing larger areas of watercolor. So great. Now um, I have this watercolor set. It comes with a brush, and Josh and Hale use it it's by Crayola for three fifty. Oh, Can I use that? That is fine. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, good colors. All right, so we have our brushes, mm -hmm. we have our paints. What else do we need? Okay, uh, probably this is the most important. Using this uh, watercolor paper here. Uh, this is also made by Artist Loft. This has uh, 24 sheets. It's a 9 by 12 inch pad. And uh, the thing about this, uh, the important thing is it's 140 pound weight paper. And so you can actually feel the thickness of the paper when you uh, touch it here. Okay. And this is important because uh, when we're doing watercolor, you're using a lot of water, and so the paper won't curl as much mm. if you're using this heavyweight paper. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, 140 mm -hmm. pound paper. Mm -hmm. And we wrote down the price for that is $4.99. Yes, it's a great deal. <laughs> so, um, also, if you have like an old jar around at home, you can use it as a water container to rinse your brush out as you're changing colors. Okay. And mm -hmm. if um, I have a um, empty yogurt container, That's can fine. I use that? Yeah. You okay. can use whatever empty containers you have around at That'll home. That'll work too. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then um, just if you have a pencil, um, number two is fine or okay. any pencil that you That's have easy. around at home. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing some writing, and uh, we're going to be using Sharpie. So uh, any kind of pen that is a permanent marker is fine. Okay. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a Sharpie per se. I also have the uh, fine tip Sharpie also. Okay. So you can use this. All right. This is so exciting. Um, and then probably some paper towels would be good to have. So if you want to wipe off your brush, you know, have a few paper towels around so each person can have their own paper towel. Okay. Um... I want to talk about a little bit uh, when you're preparing your table. It's probably not a bad idea to have some newspaper. If you have old newspaper, you can okay. put that down the table. Or a plastic tablecloth is fine, too. Just to spread it out mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. keep it clean. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
the paper, we're going to be actually cutting this paper into smaller pieces. Okay. So um, I am going to do a little project that's going to be five by seven. Okay. So um, you can get a ruler and just measure it to on uh, the paper. You can draw uh, there and cut out a seven by five inch piece. Okay. So that sounds easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you should be able to get like two uh, two five by seven pieces out of this. Okay. Nine by twelve paper. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's great. I tallied up the list of mm -hmm. um, all the supplies Marianne had um, pointed out to us, and it comes out to be seventeen dollars and fifteen seventeen dollars and fifty cents. If you invite five people, that's pretty reasonable. Very about very. three dollars and some each person. Mm -hmm. um, if we want to do something a little extra special, what can we get? Ah, okay. So I have to kind of do the finishing touch. It's always I say uh, to my students it's always great to put it in a frame and it looks professional so I have a clipless frame right here but any 5 by 7 frame would work and uh, this one here costs between 350 and 399 so mm -hmm. yeah and I told Mary hey I saw this at the dollar store oh, that's great <laughs> that, what a great deal yeah it even right. stands up by itself <laughs> yeah that right. works too I, I really encourage us to do that you know because mm -hmm. I think it's kind of embracing our creativity mm -hmm. And um, saying, hey, we value the time we spent mm -hmm. exploring and having yes. fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, spiritual white space is so important. It really brings out um, our creative child in us and allows us to just spend time together. Marianne also is very special to me because if you've read my book in the chapter that's called The Phone Call, she was the friend that I called um, to first tell about, talk about my panic attacks. And I first met Mary Ann when I was a little girl, when I was in seventh grade. She was my Sunday school teacher, and she offered to disciple me. And so um, she was the one that discipled me, and little did I know that God had prepared this in advance. Someone that had known me as a little girl, and I hadn't called her in a very long while. But you came. You came when I was crying on the phone. Tell me what it was like when you first came to see me. Um, well, I hadn't talked to Bonnie in about... Um, I guess a few months actually. Mm -hmm. was, I had yeah. I had talked to her previously, and uh, but we kind of got busy. And uh, so when she called, uh, I dropped whatever I was doing and came right over so I could just be there for her and to listen to um, to her and just and just be a good friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that spending time together mm -hmm. is really underrated undervalued in our society of producing and getting things done. So this paint night is really special. It's just time to just gather together, have some fun, spend some time. And, you know, spending that time together, it can always prepare us for friendship later on down the line, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, definitely. Yeah, Marianne's mm -hmm. really um, helped me to experience that. So if you have any questions, go ahead and note it in the comments section. We'll be happy to answer any questions, but please mm -hmm. get ready. Invite mm -hmm. your friends, get the supplies. And I'm so mm -hmm. excited. On March 30th, we're going to post the video and you can watch mm -hmm. it with your group at any time. Okay. Great. Right. Thank you so much. And remember from Ephesians 2, chapter 10, it says that we are God's workmanship. It means we are God's poema, God's poetry created in Christ Jesus. Let's do some art and let's be God's art that night. All right. Bye -bye. We're going to have fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs>